the Valhalla Venture for eGuideService.com, R-E-I-G-U-I-D-E-S-E-R-V-I-C-E.com. Wanted to do a real quick video, talk about the venture of smaller, affordable houses that we're working on right now. One of the projects I'm working on with a couple of my partners is doing some barn does because they are very efficient. They are slightly more affordable than your traditional building, but the long-term maintenance cost and that kind of thing is much, 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 much lower. And so, you know, long-term ownership is beneficial there. And now we are starting to kick back up and do some more affordable type, smaller houses. I don't like just calling them tiny homes because a lot of people just, you know, are throwing these things together. But these are legitimately small homes that are very affordable, that are built to code, um, that have all the things that you would want to have in a house. They make great like mother-in-law suites, you know, pool house, I guess. Um, if you're looking for a hunting lodge, they make a really great uh, opportunity. Uh, but above and beyond all that, they're great for college kids also. You know, buy your kid one of these and uh, buy a little lot in the college town that they live in. And then by the time they're out of four years of college, what you would have paid for an apartment, you will have paid all this off. So it's a win-win in that situation. Like I said, mother-in-laws, uh, it's really nice to be able to have your family close and you know, not having them in your space, but then, you know, wanting to have their own space also, their own privacy, works great for that as well. So there's a lot of different opportunities. These things even work for, you know, small families. It's, it's not for everybody, but it's definitely an option, and they're better than a mobile home or an RV. Uh, and the fact that they're going to maintain their value because they're built uh, in a traditional style, um, maybe even a bit more aggressive than what you would typically find in a stick-built home, um, because they are small and, and we want to make sure that they last. And like I said, that they're everything I do, I try to make it as low maintenance as possible. Anyway, that's what I'm working on. Uh, I've dipped my toe in that business for the last several years. And now I'm going to go uh, lower myself into that puddle. I don't dive into stuff. Diving in stuff makes you bump your noggin. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on in uh, to some situations that I've been in before continue doing this uh, flipping, doing the inspections um, re re for the real estate analysis. Um, I'm going to keep doing investment takeovers. If you have a property that you're working on that you are having issues with and you just want an investor to come in and fix it and make it all better, I can do that. Um, any of those types of things that you might have questions on or uh, suggestions on or any of that kind of stuff, feel free to reach out. Be blessed. Bless others. Uh, Readguideservice.com, Diva Hall Ventures, R-E-I-G-U-I-D-S-E-R-V-I-C-E.